My name is Juan, and this is Mr. Carr. Uh, we are from, uh, we are software engineers from Samsung's digital appliances business division, that is DA. Uh, today, uh, we'll discuss about data-driven AI strategies for smart home appliances. Uh, in the keynote session, our executives announced company's overall AI strategies. But uh, in this session, uh, we are going to a little bit step down to DA's perspective. Uh, in this session, we will briefly share our concept of AI uh, appliances and some of our actual AI feature development practices. And finally, uh, our ongoing AI strategies. The AI technologies uh, have been already penetrated into every aspect of our lives. Uh, as anyone would simply expect, uh, utilizing this technology uh, is directly linked to enhancing uh, corporate competitiveness. So accordingly, our company uh, is taking the lead in uh, gaining the ability to quickly understand these changes and to promptly adapting them into our devices and services. Uh, in the process of such a direction, we have concluded our concept of AI appliances. Uh, that is, AI appliances go beyond uh, by simply content connecting to Wi-Fi network, but uh, they can detect situations in their own learn patterns of users and provide uh, more optimized solutions to users. Uh, therefore, our device equipped with AI features uh, support everything from device management to energy savings and expanding towards providing more personalized solution to each individual. So, uh, our company uh, already released about uh, 20 different AI appliances to the global market. And additional 10 different appliances will be released early next year. Uh, I believe that you are well aware of that our refrigerator can uh, recognize food being stored in taken out, and our washing machine can uh, detect fabric quality to adjust its cycles, and our robot vacuum can detect object or obstacles in its path. Uh, in addition to that, uh, each and every appliance released uh, will be uh, received a series of software updates and least seven years through our smart board uh, policy so that uh, we can uh, expand these functions and performance The home appliance may seem like a simple uh, task. Uh, so home, home appliance may seem like doing simple tasks, but uh, it requires a lot of sensors and actuators to accomplish those tasks. And the numbers and even the types of the sensors and actuators uh, gradually increase to provide more uh, advanced features. And the amount of the data uh, has been increased, but uh, Actually, this data uh, cannot be uh, utilized properly for a while. But recently, uh, by adapting advanced data analysis and machine learning or AI engines, uh, it become possible to explore new opportunities, which were uh, otherwise inaccessible. So our device uh, can uh, analyze context, environment situations, to provide uh, more uh, personalized solutions. Hmm. Uh, in the second section, uh, we'll share some AI development practices. Uh, to do that, uh, I want to introduce my colleague, Mr. Ga again. Uh, he is the uh, AI vision specialist who has been successfully launched several AI features to multiple appliances. Okay, thank you. Hmm. I will start with the general stickers of developing AI functionality. Uh, we handled the entire the 
uh, development process of AI features from A to G. Continuously, the resulting more efficient method and way to improving performance. The first and most important step is to clearly define the problem we want to solve. This directly impacts the approach you will take, as well as the type and amount of data required. Once the problem is defined, the approach is determined. Uh, the next step is collect, the collect and process the necessary data. It is important to gather data and reflect real-world condition. Collect not only the target data, but also non-target data. Uh, this helps improve the model's ability to distinguish between the target and similar look non-target during evaluation. After collecting the data, we test the performance of various uh, recognition models based on the data. That result can vary to depend on how well the model fits the problem and what kind of cases it uh, can handle. Once the recognition model is ready, we test it. A real data scenario where there are any issues, we go back and improve the model so for the training and more the fine tuning. Finally, when the model researches the desired performance level, we deploy it. I will explain about our bespoke AI vision insight first. We found the users were handled having difficult managing the ingredient when the using later. And to address, uh, address this inconvenience, so we launched AI vision inside feature in this year. This function is an innovation solution for ingredient management, which has been the major uh, pain point for user by managing ingredient through the recognition of entire and exit from the refrigerator. Uh, from the beginning of this development process, we analyze the user's pattern to determine how to provide the function in the most similar way to, for user. While not the debating from the typical refrigerator user's patterns, we investigated the frequently used the ingredient to select item for recognition. Uh, therefore, uh, AI vision inside use the camera, in, camera installed at the top of the refrigerator to analyze the user's movement when the placing or removing ingredient from the refrigerator. Determine the whether food has been stored or what kind of food has been removed. By doing so, it can recognize the managing what food has been in the refrigerator since when. For this solution, uh, 1.6 million images and video, video data were required and processed. Enable not only the entire and exit of the food, but also the recognition of more than 30 type of food. To explain more detail, the main function of this feature is to detect when you put in or take out the food item. It does uh, this by recognition the user's body and hand and checking if they are holding any food. For instance, uh, when the refrigerator door open, the camera records a person's hand standing in front of it, then our AI model detects the user hand and checking if they are holding food item. If the hand enters the refrigerator, reflecting the food inside and come out empty, that system recognizes it as a food storage event. It adds the food to the system using by image captures just before it was stored. The same process happens when uh, food is removed if the hand the entered empty and come out the whole out of food, the system requires that is the food removal event. To make sure this system knows which food was stored or removed, we developed the food matching model 
Uh, this model uses data from the different, uh, different food items to recognize the similarity between the same item and make sure different items are recognized or different. With this system, we can now track, the, track when food goes in and out the, of the refrigerator, uh, which helps managing what's left inside. It's also important to the identify the type of food being stored. At the moment, the uh, storage the system recognizes what type of food the user is holding. Right now, it can recognize over the salty, over the food, or the ingredient, and we are expand, extend the cap capability. Lastly, users often want to know what stored in doors bucket. Since the camera view doesn't always capture this well, we developed the picture that detects when door open the close and take a picture at the best moment to show the bucket. And then, now, we will move to AI pro cooking features. Ovens as, op uh, as appliances are consistently evolving. Now, features are continuously added, such as the various cooking modes, or dual cooks, most steam cook, air fryers, like that. However, I would say that AI pro cooking truly stand out in terms of the usability as a particularly innovative. When a user places food in the oven, the system recognizes the menu and then recommend the recipe and automatically detect the quantity and the size of food and seamlessly the transitioning to suitable automatically cooking process. Previously, you have to manually select the cooking method, but now the oven connect to the optimal automatic setting allow the much easier cooking experience. To develop this feature, we collect the data that inside the various factors, such, uh, such as the different ingredient and quantity and height and arrangement. With over the 100 targets, target class and the various condition and combination, we gather 1.2 million data and thousands of video incorporation into the trading, uh, training process. Additionally, we system includes a picture that detects the cooking status and whether the food is burning. Even the same setting, the result can vary depend on the process state or the seizing of the food. The system continuously analyzes the video field during the cooking determine whether the food is the cooking properly or burned, and a lot to the user accordingly. After all, it creates a short video of the cooking process with available to on the SmartThings app for you watch and enjoy. Uh, we collect data under the various conditions, the ensuring the optimal particle uh, performance in different situations. However, in some case, it is particularly challenging to get data. For example, it is extremely difficult to create data on contamination caused by the particle or vapor during the cooking process. Therefore, the explored method, the method to generate video data that match this specific condition. To achieve this, we research different type and the form of the contamination and uh, were able to generate the various data set to reflect the uh, characteristic of the contamination that could occur in actual cooking appliance. Using this data set, we, did, we developed a AI model capable of detecting the type portion of the food and cooking status. Since we working with a wide variety of the menu, ensure accuracy has been the challenge. 
to improve performance, we continuously generate and uh, gathering the data, additional, da additional, da additional data, while the refine the model through the training and tuning. Okay. Hmm. okay. I will invite the Mr. Zhang again. So I hope you are having a meaningful time to get a glimpse of AI future development practices. Uh, before I finish this session, uh, I want to mention one more thing about our ongoing AI strategies. So uh, we believe that uh, on-device AI is more desirable to home appliance uh, rather than using cloud-based AI. Uh, the first reason is to uh, reduce the operating cost on the cloud. And the second reason is to uh, speed up the response time. And the uh, rest reason is all about the privacy. So uh, we are focusing on developing uh, lightweight solutions. Uh, and, and also, we are put a lot of effort to uh, developing uh, edge AI so that we can utilize pro uh, more resources uh, can be found on nearby devices like uh, family hub or TVs. Uh, this is a 30-inch wall oven with a 7-inch touch screen, uh, which were released in 2023 into the US market. Uh, based on our smart board policy, uh, we are going to upgrade this device early next year with new AI home features so, so that you can uh, launch multiple apps and services like uh, YouTube, Spotify, uh, internet browser, etc. So likewise, we will continue to expand performance and uh, functionality while utilizing uh, latest AI technologies. Uh, 